Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are working more on my modern Cherry Blossom City Island. If you're new here, I have been documenting the whole entire build process of this island on my channel, so feel free to go check out the other videos and live streams. And today we are gonna be building a modern styled sushi restaurant. Then we're gonna be working on transitions behind it and this whole location will be completely done. So this area that we're working on is near the marketplace build, kind of like around the entry. If you're interested in seeing this whole location, I would recommend checking out my previous live stream of the island because we did a final walkthrough of just like all the progress on the island. This is also really close to the edge of my map and it took me a few days to kind of figure out what to do over here. I was really struggling because there's not really that much space to work with, but I'm really excited to share how this whole location turned out with y'all today. I hope it brings you a ton of Animal Crossing inspiration. So for today's video, we are gonna be doing a pretty basic and easy build over here for the main structure. And it's just gonna consist of simple panels, short simple panels, the item called fence as a window. And then we're gonna be using wide display shelves in the medieval wall. So these are the items that I used on the main structure. And then the little neon sign that you're seeing that's sitting on top of the servers behind the simple panels. This item is called backlit sign and it is one of my absolute absolute favorite items for like little signage all over the island. So I highly recommend it, especially if you're going for something very realistic like I am today. So originally for this build today, I was hoping to do like a rooftop sitting area, but I just had no space for it. I also was just trying to reduce the lag as much as possible in this location. My island is very laggy. There is a ton of item loading that will happen in certain locations just because I really packed it full of detail. If you were somebody who does not like lag I would suggest spacing out your builds a little bit more but lately I've just been really unhappy with my islands because I felt like they didn't have a lot of content in them and being that this is the last cherry blossom city that I plan to work on for quite a while I just wanted to make sure I had a lot of work put into it and a lot of different places you could explore and that's why I'm really looking forward to also doing some interiors on it for y'all so everything that you will see on today's video this is the final location on my island and the main island itself is going to be done I will probably most likely drop the dream address for this island when we do the interiors, like get those all finished up. I was tempted on releasing the island for y'all um, this upcoming week and then doing the interiors and like updating the dream address. But honestly, I'm really scared that I'm just gonna not feel inspired to do the interiors and I'll totally abandon the island. So with all that being said, expect a dream address once we get these interiors done. So I'm pretty confident I can get this island done sometime next week there's really not that much to do. And once we finish this island, I do have actually three different themes that I really want to work on and create. And it comes down to just what inspires me first and draws me in. But the three islands that I'm really tempted on starting are a more like cyberpunk abandoned sort of city. And then there's a castle town that has like some elegant core vibes to it that I really want to do. And then of course the neutral beach town. And I feel like this beach town will have more town core elements to it. So those are the three confirmed islands that I really want to start next. Let me know which one you hope to see first in the comment section below. Anyways, now that our restaurant is done, we're gonna work on prepping out the transitional areas. I did fast forward the path placement just because it took me a while to figure out the layout to it, but this is how I ended up transitioning from the shop. If I had more space, I really wanted to do some sort of a roundabout, but being that we're at the edge of my map, I kept it pretty simple. I feel like this location and build could also work really well if you are working in the middle of your island. This would be a really nice transitional spot, maybe by your plaza, or maybe you're trying to do some some sort of a shopping district. So keep in mind, you do not have to put this build at the edge of your map. This is just where it ended up being because I'm running out of space. Anyways, now that we have that transition done, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping out my transition behind the building. I had two different ideas for this location. Originally, I was gonna do another rep home over here, but I don't wanna have to do another interior. So I ended up deciding something more school related since the school build is actually behind us. But before I get started on those areas, 
areas, I am going to finish the second level to the restaurant. And we're just going to be using bookshelves, a fence, and we're also going to be using the wide display shelf. I'm keeping it very simple because like I said, to the right of me is already really laggy due to all the details. So of course, if you don't mind the extra lag, you can definitely detail this a little bit more. But like I said, I am trying to keep this very simple. So now that the main restaurant is officially done, we're going to start prepping out the area behind it. And like I said, over here, I had so many different ideas, but I ended up going for something more school related. So we're going to be doing a really small little basketball area and also a sitting area too, just because we're really close to our school. In a perfect world, if I had more space, I would have done something a little bit more detailed, but this is a very laggy area. So once again, trying to keep things as simple and less laggy, the better. Now, even though we're working at the edge of my map, I really loved how this road layout actually turned out. While I was working on this transition, I was thinking this would make a really cute entry. It kind of introduces the downtown elements of a city island pretty um, well. And I think that you could do where the curved area is kind of near the edge, a villager home. So I think that this would be a wonderful entry and I may actually take inspo from this for one of my future islands. So I went ahead and fast forward the footage a little bit because I'll be real, I really struggled with this location. It was such an awkward area to work with, but this is how the final road layout ended up turning out. And then for this really small spot, I decided on just doing a little gazebo area. I didn't want it to take away from the school build, and I liked that you could still kind of look out to the school below from the gazebo um, entrance. So over here, we're going to just work on some more transitional decor and road details, and then we'll start prepping out our little small basketball area. Now, if you're in a different position than I am, with my school build you could easily do a different location behind the sushi shop if you don't prefer a basketball court option you could easily do another villager home over here or even another rep home you could also do maybe a food truck or also maybe expand the building on the right side to kind of do like an L shape in front of the area kind of like where the incline is and just do more shops over here there are so many different ways you could transition this build so definitely do what suits your island location the best so while I was working on this fenced in location I thought of another option you could do behind a build like we're working on today and what I was thinking is if you don't want to do something also with the basketball court items you could easily turn this location here into like a mini bike parking lot and maybe have like a little dumpster area I just thought that that would be a really cute option too if you wanted to still use the fence frame that I did over here so there are plenty of options that you could go about behind a build like we're working on today I also think that this location would make a really nice small playground too so definitely choose whichever suits your island theme the best. Anyways, after a few final details, we're going to do a final walkthrough of what we did on today's video and also thank our channel members too. So here is how the final product of the parking lot turned out near the edge of my map. I have no idea what to do on the beach below this. So if y'all have any fun ideas, let me know in the comments section because I do want to decorate those beaches over here. Anyways, I hope that today's video brought you a ton of Animal Crossing inspo. Before this video ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all all of my channel members. Thank you for supporting my channel and me as a creator. Y'all's support just means the world to me. So a huge thank you to all of our channel members. Thank you to Alicia, Hannah, Brooke, Rem Crossing, The Breakdown, Els, Kay Thompson, Tao Games, Claire Mack, Carissi, Sneaky Fox, Iceberg, Kirby, Owen Anderson, Jet, Camille, Alyssa, Trisha Dunn, Queen V, Emily, Ellie Dogmeat, Sam the Pokeman, Amanda, Monica B, Catherine Funk, Sherry Blossom, Kavi, Connor Adventure, The Bellarific, It's Your Girl Crystal, Mickey Koo, Cherry Dot Crossing, Baby Blue X016, Irish Lady 51, Opal of Wisteria, The Artsy Gamer, Dammy, Cosmon, Madison Rachel, and Adriana Dawson. Thank y'all so much for watching and have a horrible day.